Hello, my name is Dr. Bob DiMaria, the drugless doctor, and today we're going to get to know more about sex and romance. So I'm here today to answer questions for you, questions that you always wanted to ask somebody, you just didn't know who to talk to. Well, here we go. What I have learned over time is that stress, sugar, and soy, yes, soy, stops the desire for intimacy in men. You say men don't have the intimacy for, or desire for intimacy anymore, Dr. Bob? What we're seeing over time, especially after individuals are 40 years old, their desire to engage in intimate activity is lowering. We're seeing more and more men today who have low testosterone. When you have low testosterone, guess what you don't want to do? Engage in intimate activity with your spouse. So let's talk about some reality. Sugar stops sex because it impairs or stops the function of a gland in your body called the adrenal gland. Your adrenal gland is your backup sex gland. It makes sex hormones. So if you're busy eating sugar and sugar-based products, you're sabotaging sex. You hear what I just said? Sugar sabotages sex. That's right. What about soy products, Dr. Bob? I didn't know that soy would interrupt my desire for intimacy. Well, soy is estrogen-based. Men don't need more estrogen. Men need testosterone. So if you are just passionately addicted to soy products, what's going to happen, and soy is basically just about every word today, it's going to stop your man's desire to have intimacy. Now, stress is so common today. And I know all of us have different types of stress, even myself. We have just everyday activities. We like to call it the micro trauma of everyday living. It creates stress to the adrenal gland once again. Many of you just need a good night, sleep consistently to allow the adrenal gland to be restored. So stress impairs adrenal gland function. Are you starting to see how important even what you do to your body can impact your sexual desire or your sexual appetite? Let me talk to the ladies a few moments right now. And gentlemen, I want you to pay attention to this also because it does impact you, by the way. Women oftentimes will have tender breasts in between or in the middle of their menstrual cycle or right before their menses. Women that have tender breasts usually have too much estrogen inside of their body. Remember we talked about soy? So ladies, right now, this might be the answer for a question that you've been pondering for a long time. How do you stop tender breasts? Stop soy. Yes, that's right. Too much estrogen will cause your breast to be tender. Another area of concern that I see in our practice and we talk about is a heavy menstrual flow. Heavy menses is a body signal to me, a very significant body signal that you in fact have too much estrogen. And what bothers me or concerns me is the fact they may want to take your uterus out or do something even more bizarre called ablation. Ablation was when the uterus itself is actually cauterized so you don't have a menstrual cycle anymore. Doesn't it make more sense to get to the root cause of the problem? And that would be minimizing estrogen. And then also, let's focus on clearing up the liver function. So your liver processes estrogen inside of your body. Do you cry easy, ladies? People who cry easy usually need more B vitamins. B vitamins are critically important to process estrogen in the liver. We want optimal liver function. And we actually have programs that we use in our 
practice, and actually products that we use specifically to help promote liver function. But I could keep it really simple for you right now. Add an apple beaten carrot. That's right, Dr. Bob's ABCs. A half an apple every day, a third cup of beets, and one medium or four or five baby organic carrots will help promote liver function. Let's take it and turn it up a notch. Many of you right now that are listening to me have issues with depression. The depression is very common today in America. They estimate up to nearly 20% of the people in the United States today are depressed. Depression and antidepressants can literally zap one's libido. What's libido, Dr. Bob? Your desire for intimacy. Depression is quite serious. And what we have found from our experience, one of the leading causes of depression is the low thyroid gland. The thyroid gland is the gas pedal inside of your body. If you have cold hands and cold feet, wide spaced teeth, thinning hair, constipation, morning headache, let me repeat those for you. Cold hands, cold feet, wide spaced teeth, thinning hair, thinning eyebrows, morning headaches, constipation, you may in fact have a low thyroid gland. You need to have that treated accordingly. We help people all over the world with subpar thyroid function, but we want to also help your depression. How about your cholesterol? Do you know your number? Well, what we have found in our patients who have high cholesterol, and if they've been placed on any kind of medication, especially a statin medication, Guess what statins do? And I'm not saying this to be silly. It affects a man's ability to arrive at and then achieve an erection. That concerns me because I have men, patients that come in and they say, Dr. Bob, I'm taking all these medications and I'm not able to have and able to perform. They have erectile dysfunction. It can be entirely based on the medication that they're taking. So antidepressants, can decrease one's libido. Statin drugs can interrupt normal function. Do you want to know how that happens? Because when they give you a statin drug, it takes the cholesterol out of your body that's used to make sex hormones. I would much rather have you eat Dr. Bob's ABCs, apple, beets, and carrots. That'll help lower your cholesterol naturally. Now I briefly touched on the adrenal gland. You have a pair of adrenal glands, one located on top of each kidney. Your adrenal glands are your reserve tank for your sex hormones. If you do not have proper adrenal gland function, you're losing your ability to make extra testosterone and estrogen. Here's what goes on inside of your body. When you have stress, or if you have pain, your body will use cortisone. Once you run out of cortisone, your adrenal glands need more cholesterol. Cholesterol is a steroid, a building block, and one of the blocks that it makes is cortisone. It also makes testosterone, it also makes estrogen. So if your body is under stress, if you have a lot of pain, now listen, this is very important what I'm sharing with you right now. Wrap your brain about what I'm gonna say. If you have a lot of stress and your body's using up cortisone, it can't make testosterone or estrogen. You hear what I just said? That's how stress zaps sex. Because instead of the cholesterol being used to make the testosterone and estrogen, it's used to make cortisone to take away pain. What can cause adrenal gland exhaustion? Doing too much. Learn to say, I can't say yes. In other words, if somebody keeps on asking you to participate in activities that you know you don't have the time for, just say to them, I can't say yes. And they're going to look at you like this. Does that mean you said no? Yes. That means no. You need to be in bed by 10 o'clock at night. Do your very best to do that. 
those hours before midnight are very significant for adrenal gland restoration. You want to wake up in the morning refreshed. If you're waking up in the morning and you're still tired and exhausted, you have to evaluate what you're doing in your life because it's going to zap your sex life. Now, let's talk about pain in your sex life. You know, as a natural health care provider, one of the areas that we deal with and we contend with is spinal structure. If you have misalignment in the lower part of your spine, that could impair your desire and your passion to want to engage in intimate activity. So this is very serious. You know, we see patients from all over the world that come into our office that have spinal misalignment or subluxation that's impairing function. You know your posture has a lot to do with your sexual appetite also. You can say, what does that mean, Dr. Bob? Well, if your curve in your lower spine is going very forward, and you have what we call an increased lumbar lordosis. If you just turn your attention right here at my hand, that curve is really sharp like that, and your pelvic organs are right located in here, that's going to impair your body's ability to engage in intimacy because it's going to cause pain. Now I'm going to share a little nugget with you that most people don't like to talk about or aren't even aware of. That is constipation. Yes, if a woman has constipation in her colon, the last thing that she's going to want to engage in is intimate activity with her mate. One of the leading causes of constipation, not enough water, not enough fiber, low thyroid function. Ladies, do you have issues with lack of lubrication or dry vagina? Say, dry vagina, Dr. Bob, what could cause that? Stress. I have newly married couples that come into my office that have issues with the mate having a dry vagina or lack of lubrication. It's because of stress occurring inside of the body. You need to learn to relax a little bit more. So much to talk about. Let's do a little bit of a synopsis of what you need to do. First, you need to stop sugar. That's really important. I would minimize or eliminate soy. That's also very important. Learn to say, I can't say yes. In other words, if you're being overcommitted, just say no. You want to get to bed with plenty of time. So before midnight, so you can sleep through the nighttime. Now men, if you're having issues with low libido and lack of testosterone, we actually use something in our office called maca root. Yeah, maca root. I know it sounds really wild, but we have had great success with uh, our patient's libido and improving testosterone and estrogen levels. All of this can work together. If you have issues with antidepressants, you may want to have your thyroid gland checked to make sure that the depression is not being caused by that um, low thyroid function. And finally, depression. Depression is so common today. If you have depression, have your thyroid gland checked. Make sure you're taking enough B as in Bravo vitamins, because that helps depression also. Adequate oil, at least one tablespoon of flax oil per 100 pounds. That'll help give your body the hormones that it needs to help restore function. You see, getting healthy will promote your desire, your passion, once to, again, to engage in intimate activity and sexual function with your mate which I know is just so, so important. Just because you're at an age that you've lost that desire does not mean that it can't return. You need to take the time, make the appropriate adjustments to your life and to your lifestyle so your body will be healthy, restored function, and once again, everybody will be smiling. I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria, the Drugless Doctor. Look forward to speaking with you once again.